And now with Olympia's Chicory Restaurant. And if you didn't know, the chicory plant family is a vegetable with foods like radicchio and endive. And here to show us what they're serving up is their chef, Elise Landry. Hello. I'm Hi. learning a lot about the, fam the plant family. Oh, it's a beautiful today. family of vegetables. <laughs> it's a beautiful really. family. I mean, there's so many different varieties and so many different uses. I know, which we're going to talk about. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning some things. So first up, though, what are we making today? So we're going to make a radicchio tart to 10 okay. uh, with a nice frisée salad and a little bit of orange. All right. Um, Let's this get is started. yeah. Let's go ahead. So I've got my pan on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna melt butter, and while that's melting, I'll show you guys how I cut my radicchio. So this is okay. probably the radicchio that a lot of people are used to seeing right. at the grocery store. Um, but all of these here on the table are also different varieties. All from that same chicory family. Correct. Okay. Yes. So we've got frisé, um, and we've got a treviso. This is our Castle Franco, which is one of my favorites. It's like it's so this pretty. beautiful. I know. It looks so nice in a salad mix. Um, so the radicchio, I'm going to cut some nice little wedges. Okay. I'm going to cut three wedges here. And let me get rid of this loose one. It's going to fall off. So we're going to, we want to keep the root intact here okay. because we want to keep these pieces together. This is great. So that's um, key so they don't fall apart correct. when we're cooking with them. Yes. Okay. All right, so as that's melting, I'm also going to score mm. my sheet of puff pastry. Okay. Now this is puff pastry that I made, but anything okay from the grocery to, store okay. would be great. Honestly, I'd be interested to see what how this would come out if you were using pie crust or like a short, like buttery, flaky okay. dough. Um, I'm but going I could to buy the one, the puff pastry at the grocery store. It looks thicker than this, so should I roll it out? Yeah, maybe roll it out a little bit, okay. but I, you know, it's really, all of this is kind of by sight instead okay. of like, you know, okay. you're following your intuitions a little bit. If you're okay with me not making my own puff pastry, then I'm, <laughs> that's I'm, all right. We're fine you're to continue. Allowed. Okay. Um, so I'm going to <laughs> dock this with a okay. fork, and this is, um, the purpose of this is to keep the puff pastry from poofing up too much. Okay. So you want to have a sturdy base to be able to pick up our slices with. Oh, right, because with. this is going to be the bottom of the Correct. Okay. Right, it's all going to get flipped around. All right, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit, and I'm going to arrange my radicchio. I like to arrange it nicely because this is going to be the top part. Okay. Um, I'm also going to season it with a little bit oh, of salt. Oh, as we see it is how it will Correct. Be, be on the tart. Yes. Okay, so you want to make it slightly pretty in that Yes, sense. Okay. but I mean really like even if you were using, you know, I feel like it's going to look gorgeous no matter what because it gets all caramely and shiny and nice. beautiful. And the colors are beautiful. Yes, we as love the with, colors. Throughout the chicory family. Yeah. And obviously it's the name. Yes. So it's what do you say. love about cooking with this, the plant family of chicory? Well, chicories um, are a cool weather crop that um, grow really well in this region of the country. They originated from uh, Northeast Italy. Um, and this is beneficial for the farmers who are growing them so that they have produce that they can sell during the winter as well. Uh -huh. um, and it's a better alternative to, you know, leafy greens like right. romaine and such that are coming from California, Mexico, right. wherever, um, during the winter time. Um, I think that sometimes people are thrown off by its bitterness because that's kind of, you find that throughout all of the varieties the of chicken. Right. So I really wanted to show uh, the viewers a okay. way to um, work with chicory and uh, kind of highlight that bitterness and how to complement it with okay. different so flavors. So it won't necessarily, the cooking isn't necessarily going to take the bitterness away, you're going to complement it different yes, ways. Yes, we're going to okay. like add a couple things. All so right. I've got um, some sugar and um, orange juice as well. I think um, apple cider would be really nice because okay. it's fall um, and that kind of adds a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of acidity and then when it comes to the frisée salad and I'll show you how to make okay. that um, vinaigrette I've got lemon garlic and anchovy which is another ingredient okay. people should I want people to be uh, oh, the anchovy embrace, okay. embrace the anchovy. I'm ready for it. It's, okay. they're, they're such great friends, really. Um, right, so, okay, so while this is uh, browning, we okay. can start working on our Sounds salad good. dressing. Okay. Um, I can start peeling this, okay. and we'll add, in this mixing bowl, Sounds can good. add um, the Dijon and okay. the anchovy there. 
And, and I some like people too. would want to use an anchovy paste, but yep. I know you like the fresh. fresh. Well, I, well, what fresh. I try to look for at the store always is the jars of anchovy. Okay. Um, instead of the cans, because then you kind of have to commit to like using a whole can of anchovy, which is a lot. <laughs> um, so I like to just microplane okay. uh, the garlic and maybe just do half of this so it's okay. not too strong. Okay. All right, I'm gonna crank this up a little bit. Um, with so the radicchio. Three things, and then I'm going to. Give it a whisk, whisk? and we'll okay. juice this uh, whole lemon into here, and okay. then we'll start whisking in the olive oil. So this is like a really basic vinaigrette. Um, I feel like it hits all the notes. You've got like the richness from the olive oil, the savoriness from the okay. anchovy. The Dijon is always a great base for uh, vinaigrettes because it's, it's a great emulsifier. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna, what we're looking for here is like a nice sear on the radicchio. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna get some color on the other side as well and then I'll add my sugar and orange juice and this is gonna kind of create like a caramel in the pan um, and then we'll put the puff pastry nice. on top. And I'm just, you said a half a lemon? Yeah. We'll taste right. it and kind of. There might be a, you know, a seed or two in there. <laughs> Ignore those, okay. All right, so then we have the lemon juice in here whisking in. Yes, wonderful. What else, is this ready to go? Yep, that is, so that's our base. Oil yeah, or? and we're gonna start whisking in the oil okay. and I can help you with this okay. as you. Whisk. Tell me about chicory. All right, so um, we are located in downtown Olympia. Uh, we opened in 2020, which was an exciting time. <laughs> For us all, um, we we are kind of a casual fine dining restaurant. Yeah. We are, you know, our biggest. Um, Meaning you don't take yourself too serious. Correct. Right? But you have good. But food. the food is great. Okay. I would like to say, um, we really make a huge effort in working with local farmers and local purveyors, which is quite easy to do here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, we uh, change our menu regularly, so that's something that diners can expect when they come in, is that they'll find new things. So instead of, I think we can toss this oh, the other ah, way around. Yes. I like that even better. Yes. Okay, we have about one minute, so oh, I okay, great. All right. up. So, I'm gonna use my hands. I wash them. <laughs> I'm going to add my sugar first okay. as this softens up. And my sugar clumped up overnight, but this is all going to dissolve. Okay. Um, and we are going to add the orange juice. That's about a tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of orange juice. Okay. Um, so I'm going to let this kind of reduce and caramelize. And that's when I'll put my puff pastry on. Nice. And then we'll bake it in the oven. And with the puff pastry, I'm really just going by uh, sight as far as okay. like golden brown and delicious on the top. Um, and this then, is gonna so make... then you would put the you would put the puff pastry on and bake the whole thing in the oven. Yes. Okay. So it's a one pan dish. All right. I think this would be great for the holidays too because you could really um, cut it up however okay. you would like. And through the magic of television. Yeah. We have one. Right. So we would put the puff pastry. Boom. Into the oven. This is momentous for me. I've uh, always wanted to do a magic okay. oven. Let me move this to the side. Excited. All right, so. And we should say, too, while you're, go ahead yes. and take that. Um, this is the finished, beautiful yes, finish correct. right here. But I'm going to, sh I, I want to give it a in, flip. Right? Yeah, let me. I should let you flip that. Generally, okay. you would flip it right as it okay. comes out of the oven because it, the caramel We're kind of sets up. We're running out of time, up. and I don't want you to miss the flip. Yeah, the flip is going to be the best part. Let's see here. And also while you're doing that, the beautiful other dishes with the yeah. uh, carpaccio and the roasted carrots. All right, so let me grab my plate. Okay. Down here. Thank you. Okay. This is the moment of truth. Oh, a little shake. And I love it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. And I will try this right after the break. Oh, my gosh. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, so fall. All right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.